So we have our first project ready to go and bring into Blender. So we need to export this as an OBJ, select it. Then we're going to go file, then save as. We're going to go here with OBJ export. I'm going to call this project one. Yes, it's going to overwrite what I already have there. I'm fine with that. And you will see that it turns into quite a bit of mesh here, but mm, the precision is a little bit off here. I need to change this slack or the sag, I can go all the way down to zero if I really want. Just be aware that that's going to bring a whole bunch in there. So usually I'm happy with just 0 0.1. That gives me enough sag right there. As for the angle, it's up to you how much you want to go here. But the main one here is this max curve, because if we take a look at the actual curves right here, these can sometimes be a little bit low resolution. So if you want to increase that resolution, it's right here. I'm going to whack this all the way up to 200. And just be aware, this can be quite intensive now. So it'll bring it up and it's going to bring it right to that point here. So here we have it. Give it a moment. It's going to get quite full on. And there we have it now pretty much set. Let me just see if I brought this down to 50 now. Would it show you? Yeah, that you can see the change pretty quickly. So have that at 200. I am happy with that. I'm going to click OK, and then I'll see you over in Blender. So here we are in Blender. Let's import that OBJ. So file, then we're going to go import and OBJ. Navigate to where you have the file. I have it here, project one. I'm going to import that OBJ and give that a moment because it is pretty big. Now it is absolutely gigantic right this minute. So you can see, especially if you have the world unit scale high, I currently have it set for precision modeling. If you don't know about that, there's a link right there. So let's go and deal with this right now. I'm going to select this, press N, and right here on item, I'm going to scale this down to 0 0.01. Happy with that. Let's take a look at what's going on there. Brilliant. Let's apply that with control A and apply that scale. Let's also rotate this. So rotate on the X by 90 in the other direction. Brilliant. Hit enter. And there we have it. Now, currently, this is very much not 3D printable at all. It's all non-manifold and all the rest. So let's take this into edit mode. There's a lot going on here. Don't worry about it. With everything selected, if it isn't, it's A, press M to merge, and we're going to go by distance. And this will be a pretty big number right this minute. And that's going to merge it all down like that. Now, if you're dealing with sort of just 3D printing, it might already be fine like this. If we go into object mode, you'll see it's a mess. Don't worry. All we have to do is go here, type in clear, and you want to clear your custom split normal data, and that's it sorted. Let's just quickly give this a 3D print check, and you're going to see that it's basically pretty much ready to go. See that all that is perfectly fine, but there's a little bit much going on here. So let's just go in here, select everything. We're going to go X. We're going to do a limited dissolve. I'm going to do a limited dissolve of only 0 0.1. And this is pretty much going to give us a very respectable solid object. There you have it. Like you're, you're pretty much done at that point. So let's give this another check all and you'll see that were pretty much all perfect. The intersecting faces are probably just going to be right here. Let me see. Yeah, it's just right there. There's nothing really to be worried about there. That is perfectly fine. But of course, we're here to do some precision modeling. So let's quickly check the precision aspect of all this. So I'm going to turn on my CAD transforms here. We're going to snap now, so I'll press G. We're snapping from that vertex to this one. This should be exactly 80, and it is. It is eight centimeters right there. Perfect. Let's also check the height here. So we're going to go from this point down there, and let's go all the way up here. And that is exactly 10 centimeters as expected. Okay, what about the thickness? Because that is something that we had right here. So the thickness of there, let's go G. We're going to go and snap from here on the X to there, two millimeters. As you've seen, this is perfectly ready for 3D printing and ready to go ahead. So let me just quickly show you it in Prusa Slicer, which is right here, ready to go. It is really happy and it's all worked absolutely perfectly. There has been no problems at all. And that is precision modeling with plasticity, 3D printing, exporting OBJ. And this is just the start. Let's go on to the next project in the next video. Now, if you want to share what you're making or get a little bit of help with plasticity, you can join the MakerTales Discord where I have a plasticity channel right there, or you can try and join the plasticity Discord. And information for that will be down in the description or in the top pinned comment where I'll be keeping that as up to date as possible. If
If you're enjoying what I'm making here and you think I'm worthy of your support, you can join this lovely group of Extreme people, my lovely patrons. Thank you so very much. And a big thank you to my VIP makers, Jem Oskinacht and David Fernandez. It really means the world to me. Thank you for watching. Keep making and let the quest continue.